Welcome guys to 8 Horses. Uh, kind of late in the night, around 1am, and these players are just going at it. A lot of high rank players here. Let me know uh, what you think about me just naming out these players in the team, because I think it gets a bit repetitive. But yeah, I guess that's just my opinion. Also, if somebody knows, can you please let me know how you remove these, like um, the pinks, like the crosshair left from the pinks. Obviously, I know how to remove the the, uh, the drawings, but just this crosshair from the ping gets kind of kind of gets kind of in the way. So yeah. In any case, we're gonna see a lot of these tactics going on here. We're gonna have navy. We're gonna have aircraft. We're gonna have may have some seaplanes here. Some uh, little small pawns that are able to uh, actually just get some seaplanes here. Uh, that could be interesting. There is a lot of raids that can happen with seaplanes, so we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that. Check if any players go for that. Just regular start. Ticks getting vision. Let's just say some names uh, for th for this game. Uh, on the first team we have Flash, Lexon, Emmer, Zarin, Nin, Zaid. Nin Holy Iraqi, Tabesh, Hemorrhoid, going up against Mom's Boy Toy, Somber Moose, Spartanius, Three, Markivs, Neptunio, Pyrotech, Flaz, and Shiny Squirrel. These players, obviously pretty good. Um, this is a plus 25 game, but yep, I guess just <laughs> Hemorrhoid slipped in and uh, nobody cared, to be honest. But that is fine. Hoping to see these players just going eco like Lexon, Zirin, and Mom's Boy Toy. Probably going to do that. Flaz. But um, we're going to have to see some units here as the control of these spots is going to be pretty essential for this top lane gameplay. Mid lane, just classic, some rascals, some rovers. Going up against Tix. Rover, just drawing first blood here. Or maybe I just missed first blood. Maybe, maybe not. That Tick got a lot of XP from destroying that Lazarus. And that is actually so much value from this Tick right off the start. Never, I never do actually make these light units, those f fast units. It's actually pretty good, pretty useful to get that vision, to get that control. And if you guys know, if you may or may not know, ticks cannot cross water. This water in particular, so rovers can do that, vehicles can do that, but ticks just cannot cross water here. So you cannot do a tick spam from these islands over here. Pretty interesting map, we don't see it quite often, so it is a good change of pace. Probably going to see a lot of things happening here. Unsuspected bombers and uh, maybe even a nuke, which I'm hoping to see. Emmer starting off very well equipped with energy here. A lot of tidal generators. That is very good. Tide is 23 here. Fixed wind, not that great. And um, tidal generators are pretty good on this map. So these naval players are going to have a, lo uh, a lot of energy. Just enough energy, I guess, to get their Navy units produ uh, produced. Airplanes cost a lot of energy, and ships are like the most expensive units. They cost a lot of metal plus a lot of energy as well. So these tidal generators are definitely going to help them out. Spartanius and Neptunio pushing, advancing their positions as they will meet their laners soon. Hemorrhoid and Nin Zaid. Holy Raki going up mid. Flash and Tabesh trying to get in position as soon as possible. Flash just catching this mid. Trying to get these metal extractors up just to have them as soon as possible and start getting metal. Donation, not sure what the donation was, but in any case, there is there is a good chunk of metal here. 320. That is pretty good. That's why the early Lazarus from Flash trying to trying to just recycle that metal, get it up in his economy. Starting up with some pawns, trying to secure the position. We have rovers from is this Tabesh. Yep. He will be able to I guess they have a lot of line of sight, right? 635 against pawns. We have 429. I mean, next two pawns, not against. Have some pawns roaming. Trying to catch off some constructors, like we see here. But doubt that will happen soon enough as Mom's Boy Toy. Actually, this constructor might go down. Yeah, it could very well go down. This is a good pickup from Flash. Just needs to go down. Uh, almost. Mom's Boy Toy starts repairing it and it does not go down, just loses two pawns. Mom's Boy Toy having these blitzes, which are quite strong. Uh, as we always say, vehicles are much stronger than bots to begin with, tier 1, tier 2 as well. And are just way more, uh, way faster at least, but bots can cross uh, more difficult terrain. And vehicles have a difficulty 
while climbing up steep terrain or going through water. Bots get slowed as well, as we can see here, but not that big of a deal. Shiny Squirrel and Tabesh going at it. Actually, just a turret from Tabesh doing some damage, doing heavy damage to Shiny Squirrel's Blitzes. Let's see if the guys clashed here. Holy Araki trying to seize a better position here, trying to make an aggressive position. Neptunia already having artillery, trying to cl clean up Hemorrhoid. Let's see if Hemorrhoid is ready for this. He just has a lot of these pawns. And Neptunio came prepared. He already has some heavy vehicles, has has a couple of stouts, has Janices, has artillery. So Hemorrhoid is in big trouble here. He does not have a forward lab. And this could end up catastrophically for him. At the moment, Neptunio has big advantage over this. But we will see how it goes. Pyrotech going for a forward vehicle plan. Not having any defenses as of yet. Holy Raki can capitalize on that, but we will see Flash making a very aggressive forward vehicle lab constructing a janus we know this we know this vehicle is pretty versatile has like little homing rockets twin rocket launchers that do a lot of damage can even like chunk a stout to half hp stout just trying to get this turret out of the way as a lot of these blitzes are pretty low we have some janus from shiny squirrel but that will not be enough against tabesh and flash here mom's boy toy making a front line trying to flank with these blitzes just to open up some positions but uh this is pretty well secured by Zirin and we have a dragon steed fortification here so that's gonna make pretty hard for uh, that's gonna make it pretty hard for these blitzes to uh, assault this hill Mama's boy toy just picking up any metal he can from the field we have a commander trade here was that a commander trade I'm not sure but Lexon could have gotten someone's commander and that is actually Flaz's commander that is pretty good Lexon making good use of this missing the d-gun Hitting the second D-gun, hitting the third D-gun as well. Uh, we have some ships from Sombra Muse just getting in here. This is quite unusual position for these ships to be in, but Lexon is in big trouble. Okay, that is good. He uses the rock for protection, but Sombra Moose already dominating. We need to see some movement from Ember here. Otherwise, Lexon is going to lose his forward position here. That was a good D-gun attempt, but um, nice. Very, very, very good D-gun. That is a lot of resources. Spent on that destroyer that just went down. Lexon, if he managed to help his commander survive, but no, Mom's Boy Toy is flanking him. This is pretty unfortunate for Lexon as he loses his forward position and commander. Very, very good of Mom's Boy Toy to notice that. Uh, he can flow these units through behind Emmer. Emmer was responsible for this naval hold and this as well. And he is his, not his base, but uh, Lexon's base is in big trouble right now. This is pretty unfortunate for Lexon. As he got just struck, stuck in between, sandwiched between three people, and uh, fortunately goes down. Mom's boy toy in a bit of trouble here, or maybe not, not really. But his his position, his defense, static defense gets destroyed. He's forced back with the commander. Not sure why he doesn't degun here. Maybe he doesn't notice it. Not sure what's going on, but maybe he has his sights set on different things like raiding just happening right now and uh, he may be able to he may may very well be able to do a lot of damage but we have some of these construction turrets that can just deconstruct these units if they get too close which I'm sure Lexon will do exactly that another one gets deconstructed and here comes the next one that is not gonna do it and Lexon just makes short work of these mom's boy toy trying to get his position back up but he's just getting barraged by this artillery from Zirin. let's see if his commander goes down I doubt that will be the case but he is under fire here he should retreat he has a lot of these blitzes here flash and Tabesh just getting a very very aggressive position here resurrecting units very very smart from flash as he just needs a couple more to get this push through Markiv's only having his commander here in the front line not having any units whatsoever he's making maces but they're gonna take a long time to come here he did not have a forward lab I believe so he is stuck between a rock and a hard place at the moment and I think flash is gonna look to get mom's boy toy off this uh, off this coast he's trying to uproot his position Emmer having a lot of subs and these subs are pretty good against anything that does not have torpedoes but there's some harpoons here already set up by somber moose so emmer is not going to be able to 
push forward here. That, that, there is a lot of this metal here. 1200 metal in the water right in front here. Up for the picking. And Flaz getting a lot of these pawns here. Could be able to flank this position. But this is a pretty hard spot to go against. We have brutes here. And just two brutes are enough. And we have even more on the way. So I think Flaz will not be able to do anything special here. We have a radar. We see him coming. So yep. He will not be able to do anything. Tabesh, I think getting, or these are, no, these are Holy Raki's pawns. It's good. He's trying to make a geothermal power plant here. That is pretty ballsy, if I may say. Um, Holy Raki, I think a lot of units here. Could be able to assault this forward vehicle plant if he, if he sees it. Uh, Pyrotech could be in big trouble here. Yep, no, I think this is going to go down. They're trying to repair it, but... He's actually just trying to produce units, but at this point, I think it's just going to be over and done with this vehicle plant. Yep, that is going to happen. And Pyrotech losing his forward vehicle plant. A lot of units flowing through from Holy Raki. And uh, let's see if they'll, they're able to do some uh, damage. Actually, we have a lot of grunts here, so they're just going to be able to kite back. Uh, this is not the greatest scenario for pawns, but we have Nin Zaid going up against Spartanius here. Spartanius already having... Uh, some T2 vehicles, or I guess constructing them, he does not have a lot of metal. He did not go for tier 2 constructors just yet. Which is a big problem, trying to construct T2 units uh, without having T2 metal extractor extractors is a big problem. And you're just burning a lot of your <coughs> burning a lot of your ec economy trying to achieve something with the T2 when you can do it with T1 instead. These are pretty costly, but bulls are pretty strong tanks. Uh, but if Zaid has a lot of units, he will not be able to advance in this position. Neptunio, under pressure, trying to trying to retreat here. But um, Hemorrhoid has this under control. He's making some turrets up there, but he's getting shot by this artillery. He should notice this and retreat his commander. But here we have here we have Holy Iraqi just going through with his tanks, with his uh, rocketeers. Some resurrected rocketeers there, which is pretty good. Neptunio could lose his commander here. This could be pretty big. As he's going to lose his entire position if this commander goes down. Hemorrhoid might lose his commander here. Uh, still getting barraged by artillery. Have some pawns from Hemorrhoid. Could make this happen, but no. Neptunio actually pretty low by this artillery shooting. Shooting from the other side of the wall by Nin Zaid. Pretty good team play from these players, but he's just getting his tanks back. And trying to secure this commander. Did we see any eco damage done? Flash actually getting some units through, making bulls, making jaguars, trying to go through, trying just to make pressure to not give them room to breathe. And uh, guys, in these situations, you cannot you cannot attack your enemy. You you should just defend. I mean, clearly these players know this, and they have to defend from these units that are trying to flow through. They have to hold the line and not not let any units leak through and destroy their economy as that is going to be pretty catastrophic and they're just forced back as you can see from these metal extractors they just have like two Markivs just has two metal extractors up this is not the most ideal shiny squirrel is probably in the same position has like two metal extractors up we had some tanks that went through here probably from um, from Tsirin but we have some bots going through from Flas. oh he actually should have went there that was that was not the greatest choice just do not go there should have tried and looked for this position here this would be this would be the best option, as he could just go here, flank this position, destroy this build power, destroy these SAMs, which actually have a lot of metal and energy invested into them early on. And uh, Tsirin just makes some pounders, because he sees a lot of... He sees a lot of pawns coming in, and this is just a very, very big, very strong navy from Sombra Moose. I think Emmer does not stand a chance here. Even though he has these Harpoon torpedo launchers, a couple boats, this is not going to go well for Emmer. Does not have any. He has a tier two. He's actually just trying to delay for tier two. He's gonna have one battleship, but how much will it do actually against this big navy of somber moose? He's getting his T2 shipyard up as well as we speak. If he secures this position and gets this medal, he's gonna be even faster than Emmer in constructing these T2 units. Flash getting pushed back a little bit. He got his commander destroyed. That is. Not the most ideal thing. Mom's boy toy already going out with some hounds. 
and he's getting his economy up, making an aircraft plant, which is pretty good. He has an advanced geothermal plant already, upgrading his metal extractors, very, very good, very fast on economy, which is what you should always do. Making some, uh, making an air transport, maybe he should, maybe he will try to commander bomb or something like that, something similar. And uh, Lexon, finally uh, getting that T2 lab up, getting some twitchers. Um, he was pretty slow into this game as he got as his, his commander was destroyed here in the forward position. He got 3v1 and um, resurrected these blitzes actually to fight for him. Let's see if that blitz actually destroys this hound. It actually does a lot of DPS. This hound just cannot even shoot it as it is too close, just driving around it. Tabesh advancing with the Jaguars and uh, the Bulls of Flash. Trying to get into forward position, but these Jaguars from Flash got revived by Pyrotech. And they're trying to kill Tabash's commander at the moment. No luck there, but um, still uh, did a lot of damage. Zaid being forced back here by Spartanius as he has a lot, uh, as he has some Starlights, some Mausers. And like I said, guys, Mauser is a pretty cheap, pretty good T2 artillery from Armada. 270 metal and 4,100 energy for an artillery that has a 940 range. Pretty good, pretty good speed and uh, pretty good damage and AOE. Pretty decent artillery, very cheap and very mobile. Overall, good utility, very good range and pretty good to have. Nin Zaid going to this little island here, just making a radar. Not sure what, what, what he's up to here. Maybe he can just walk through here and uh, destroy this T2 lab, just like degun it. Not sure what he's planning. Maybe he's just waiting for vision, but he is getting opened up by Spartanius, like just two bulls going through. This could be big trouble. He does not have his commander there. Making some tigers of his own, but that might take some time as he's low on metal. Let's check the rest of the map. A lot of these Jaguars coming from Tabesh. Jaguars are pretty good as they have light anti-air solution. Here we see a Dreadnought from Emmer. Trying his best to retreat. Not get destroyed. Could even... Yeah, this is, this is not the greatest position for... Not the greatest position for Emmer. Like I said, we had we have two Paladins from, from Sombra Moose. He is much faster. Got into... Uh, got to dominating this seaside and he can even like, just pick these ships back up he can control seaside completely it's a big problem for emmer just sending one ship there one by one they're just gonna keep dying to these paladins this is a, a big problem for emmer he's forced to retreat and if uh, somber moose decides to push here it is gonna be pretty catastrophic this one paladin will not do too much against these two paladins and yeah we could do math two is better than one obviously Auto units trying to reclaim ground by Markivs, but to no avail. This is not this is not going great. He's up against tier two balls. He's just getting pushed back. If he uses the if he loses these units, um, these balls can very well push again. Flash is pretty ferocious and pretty versatile when it comes into these situations. He knows where he can make his move and where he's supposed to go back. Sometimes not, but uh, you know we're just humans. We make mistakes occasionally. These paladins are big trouble right now. These construction ships from Lexon are going to get destroyed. I have a coastal torpedo launcher, but it is out of range. Finally, we have two paladins coming together from Emmer. And they might be able to get some damage done here. But we already have two paladins over here. Again, at the ready. Getting this metal from Dreadnought Wreckage. 2,000 metal, like commander metal. That is, that is a lot. That is a lot from these ships. But we have some... A Bermuda Raider Jammer ship going along with these Paladins, and they may be able to do something here. But um, Voyagers from Sombra Moose are just getting a lot of metal. We have another. We have a Dreadnought getting produced by Sombra Moose. This is going to spell trouble for Emmer, but we're going to keep that in sight as some of the fiends from Lexon just try and go through here, but they will not get far, as we have a lot of these hounds. Set up on Gauss cannons just to deal with these fiends quickly. Trying to get destroyed. If, if these, uh, that is pretty unlucky. Losing some constructors here. And if he does not have a, he does have a tech two lab, but he lost some T ones as well. He has another tier one, so that is still fine. He can make uh, those butlers. I think they have. They do not have construction turrets. That is unfortunate. He only has one. 
he only has one T1 constructor left, so he'll, he's gonna be able to make turrets still. We have uh, liches, nuclear bombers coming in from uh, Mom's Boy Toy. Not sure what they were going for here. Probably the, the T1 vehicle plan. Uh, yep, that is probably true. Maybe it got constructed, uh, deconstructed. Probably should have some debris left, but I think Mom's Boy Toy hit nothing there. But that is that is fine. Oh, oh my God, Flash just going through with these bulls. Nothing being able to contest them that easily, and Pyrotech's base is very, very in a very dangerous position here. Uh, destroying this build power, destroying, yep, just destroying the constructors, destroying the build power, as it will take much, much longer for him to rebuild if he does not have any constructors. Just going through two bases, wreaking havoc to Neptunia as well. Neptunia trying to get this T2 up. This could very well be a, a, a good game as Flash and Tabesh are just going in these bases, wreaking havoc. Uh, Spartacus, Spartanius actually, sorry, is up next on the list of these bulls. This is pretty catastrophic for the Western team. It's going pretty well for the Eastern team in the Navy up against Lexon and this is just, this is just chaos. This is gonna be very, very bad. This is gonna end very badly for the Western team. A lot of these units coming back from the Neptunio, but Neptunio's already left the game. This is pretty bad, and uh, yep, that was Spartanius as well, just leaving. He knows it's over. He knows what is going through his base. This is just this is just insanity. Very very good play from Flash, and uh, obviously Tabesh as well. Just textbook plays. Very very experienced player. Too bad I did not see that push initially, but. Flaz is trying to help out here, but this is just three players almost completely out of the game. And uh, yeah, Pyrotech reclaiming what was left of his uh, of his units of, of his base. No, actually, this was um, this was someone else. I forgot who it was, but in any case, Flash is completely dominating. Getting his one tank up here to check uh, <laughs> if this is getting if if there is something here, and indeed there is. These constructors could deconstruct this bull tank, but uh, they will not see it in time. And this bull tank is just going to get those killed. Yep. That is going to be a problem for Pyrotech. And we see a forfeit from the Western team. That was a pretty quick game. Very, very good flank from Flash. Very good um, slip through into the economy of the enemy players. Overall, a great game. Had some Marauders constructed for Mom's Boy Toy, but it was a bit too late. His team just got completely destroyed. Flash doing everything, efficient use of resources, destroying enemy units, even producing the most resources. Very good aggressive position on this mid lane here, and a very good forward vehicle lab. Very good uh, lane control with Tabesh, and overall just a great game. Guys, thank you for watching. Please let me know, give me feedback in the comments, what you think, do you like this commentary, would you like me to do more, would you like me to do some other specific things, or actually if you'd like to see me uh, stream on YouTube, I don't know, not sure about Twitch, but I know you guys are um, pretty uh, caught up with work, with school, and uh, it's just better to have a, a YouTube video that you can watch at any point, at any time, so yeah, anyways, just please let me know. Thank you so much, and uh, see you in the next one.